Embolization of liver lesions is a standard minimally invasive image-guided procedure for treatment of primary or metastatic liver tumors in patients with disease limited to the liver. This animation demonstrates how this minimally invasive procedure is performed step-by-step -step through the right groin access. As the first step, skin in the right groin area is marked based the upper and lower margins of the right femoral head. Once the location of the common femoral artery for access is picked up under ultrasound, the skin entry site is numbed by injecting lidocaine. Then, the right common femoral artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle. Once the blood return is noted, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the right common femoral artery. Subsequently, the needle is exchanged for a transitional sheath and the transitional sheath is advanced over the microwire. The microwire and inner dilator of the transitional sheath are exchanged for a wire with larger diameter and longer length which is advanced through the transitional sheath into the aorta. Then, the outer layer of transitional sheath is exchanged for a vascular sheath. The dilator of the vascular sheath is removed. At this point, the sheath is aspirated and flushed with heparinized normal saline. Contrast may be injected to assess the patency of the common femoral artery and safety of the access. Subsequently, infusion of normal saline is started through the sheath to avoid possible clot formation at the tip of the sheath. A curved catheter is advanced over the wire through the sheath into the aorta. and subsequently the curved tip of the catheter is formed in the aortic arch by pulling back the wire and simultaneously twisting the catheter. Then, a long segment of the wire is re-advanced out of the catheter's tip and this combination is pulled down to the level where the celiac trunk goes off of the aorta. At this point, the wire is pulled back till only one centimeter left out of the catheter's tip. Then, this combination is used to select the celiac trunk. Subsequently, the wire is exchanged for a combination of microcatheter and microwire which is advanced through the curved catheter to select the hepatic artery and then then branches supplying to the target liver tumor. Once the target artery is selected, the tumor could be embolized by different materials from based on the patient's clinical situation and planned treatment. Either of bland embolization, conventional chemoembolization, or drug-eluting beads chemoembolization could be performed in similar fashion. For bland embolization, only small particles without chemotherapy agents are injected in pulsatile fashion through the microcatheter till complete embolization and stasis is achieved. The goal of bland embolization is to stop blood flow to the liver tumor and deprive oxygen and nutrients from the tumor cells. As an alternative option, during conventional chemoembolization, a mixture of pappy seed oil called lipiodol and chemotherapy agent is injected through the microcatheter in pulsatile fashion until partial stasis and tumor staining is achieved. This is followed by bland embolization with small particles till complete stasis to avoid washout of chemotherapy agent. For drug-eluting beads chemoembolization, only small beads which carry chemotherapy agents are injected in pulsatile fashion through the microcatheter till complete stasis is achieved.
These beads elute chemotherapy agents after settling within the intratumoral vasculature bed while blocking blood flow to the tumor cells. Upon completion of the embolization, microcatheter and catheter are removed. Hemostasis is achieved either by applying manual pressure or a closure device. For active closure device, first a short wire is advanced through the sheath into the common femoral artery. Then, the vascular sheath is removed and a special sheath and dilator provided in the closure kit is advanced over the wire into the common femoral artery. After adjusting the position of the sheath's tip based on the bleeding feedback from the back end of the sheath, the dilator and wire are removed. The collagen plug carrying component is assembled and advanced into the sheath. After attaching and clicking the last part, the whole sheath is pulled out until resistance is felt. After feeling resistance, the middle plastic piece is pushed back over the string into the track till the collagen is packed in the outside of the common femoral artery. Then, the string is cut by scissor in the middle part. And after removing the middle plastic piece, the rest of string is trimmed at the level of skin.